My coverage of Computex 2023 is brought to you by Antec, Cooler Master, and MSI. To learn more about their products, check out the links in the description. At Cooler Master's headquarter office in Taipei, I got to check out their new Master Hub, a modular control panel for streaming and content creation. Imagine an Elgato Stream Deck with infinitely more customization, sliders, and knobs. The Master Hub consists of a 6x4 base and 9 different modules that you can arrange however you like to suit your needs and workflow. If that's still not enough, Cooler Master has plans to release larger bases for power users who need more controls than the USS Enterprise. The modules range from large dials with customizable LCDs, knobs, scroll wheels, and touchscreen displays. Everything feels extremely tactile and of higher quality than the Stream Deck, in my humble opinion. I love how easy it is to slap on and rearrange modules with the Toolist magnetic base, and first-time setup is virtually plug-and-play. Users just need to spend some time mapping the controls to their liking within Cooler Master's new software, which we'll circle back to. I found the controls to be super responsive when testing them out with Photoshop and Premiere Pro to perform actions like changing the brush size or scrubbing through the timeline. Cooler Master is planning to support 10 APIs upon Master Hub's November release, including many of the Adobe Suite apps and OBS Studio. All the modules will be available for purchase a la carte, as well as in three different kits, the Streamer Kit, Photo Editor Kit, and the Video Editor Kit, each one coming with a different set of modules. Pricing is TBD, but I'll definitely be keeping a close eye on this lineup. Ash at Elgato. Of course, hardware is only as good as its software, and Cooler Master is confident that it stuck the landing with Master Control, their new do-everything application for controlling all your hardware. It's a cloud-based app, so it's super lightweight, and it's based on a widget system that scales seamlessly as more Cooler Master products are added to your setup. Within the app, you can access custom scenes, lighting, thermal and power management, and a live graph that offers real-time monitoring and gives you suggestions based on the reports. There's even a three-step thermal management system that sends you a notification should any overheating be detected. If ignored, any Cooler Master connected peripherals will start flashing red, and as a final fail-safe, the system will actually shut down if left unattended. You can select fan presets or create a custom curve for your CPU, GPU, or cooler, monitor your power supply's delivery and efficiency, or configure every button, dial, and knob for the new Master Hub panel. Having a dark mode and customizable wallpaper are just the cherries on top. With Master Control comes the new Master ID, a single login for all the Cooler Master things that also lets you add your preferred payment system, of course backed up by device verification and 2FA. That said, you don't need to create a Master ID account to use the software. It's already chalking up to be an incredibly promising app that launches on July 15th and will also come bundled with Cooler Master's new AIO, PSU, and ARGB fan controller, with more products to follow. Another cool and very unexpected project Cooler Master showed me is their SS571, a wireless 2.1 speaker system. Or is it 3.1? Very unique to the SS571 is its ability for the two stereo speakers to lay flat and combine into a single soundbar, where the center speakers become a center channel and the outer speakers retain their stereo configuration, making it a 3.1 system when combined with the subwoofer. Wireless technology and a few strong magnets allow the speakers to connect physically and electrically in order to complete the transformation. The speakers do have the option to operate wirelessly with Bluetooth 5.2, but Cooler Master has brought down the latency to under 20 milliseconds, so even fast-paced gaming won't be an issue. The system features DTS Studio Sound and CM Master Sound, a finely tuned software profile customized by Cooler Master's own audio team. The difference was clearly noticeable in the demo they showed me, with Cooler Master's profile sounding superior, with deeper bass and clearer mids and highs. I was very impressed by the sound quality, and among the many, many products I saw at Cooler Master HQ, this was the one I wanted to steal the most. The SS571 is still in development, so keep your eyes peeled for it at the end of this year, or possibly in 2024. Thank you guys for watching my coverage of Computex 2023. Stay tuned for more content straight from Taiwan, coming soon.